Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg has just released his health care proposal. Uh, and it's not Medicare for all. I, I, I think we're not surprised by this. Uh, now, he's calling the plan Medicare for all who want it. And what it is, is basically a public option plan. Um, now, it calls for increased subsidies for private insurance. So it's going to preserve private insurance and it's going to open up Medicare as a public option, which you can buy into. Uh, now, for years, he says in a statement, Washington politicians have allowed the pharmaceutical industry and giant insurance companies and powerful hospital systems to profit off people when they're at their sickest and most vulnerable. My Medicare for all who want it plan will create a healthcare system that puts power in the hands of each American. Uh, now, how it works is that uninsured Americans would automatically be enrolled into the government insurance plan, while those with employer-provided insurance would be able to opt in. So that's how it preserves uh, employer uh, and private insurance, essentially. Now, the health uh, care proposal, while it's not very detailed, includes measures to address surprise billing and an out-of-pocket spending cap for Medicare. So it keeps the Medicare program currently as it is, essentially the same, but just opens it up for the public. So now, again, public option, right? So, so my thoughts on this. Uh, sorry, Pete. It's not single payer, which means it's not going to work. Now, I know some people ask, well, why? why? Why will a private, uh, why would a public option not work good enough? Now, look, I, I used to be in favor of a public option way back in like, what, 2008, 2012, right? And I ho was hoping that the ACA would have a public option built into it. We are way past that now. And now you realize that a public option doesn't work. It would never survive in this system where we have essentially a corrupt government. I mean, look, uh, most of what uh, these politicians want to do is privatize industry. They want to privatize everything. And they take money from giant corporate donors. A public option would not survive because what would happen is that insurance companies would continue to buy politicians to try to reduce what is covered from a, by, by a public option. The reason that they would do that is to try to shift as many healthy people over to a private insurance system. These insurance companies would take the healthiest people, entice them with low premiums, and for plans that wouldn't cover as much. So the difference here is that instead of insured, uninsured people continuing to be uninsured, which is what we have during the current system, they would have Medicare, but not an expanded Medicare. So it would cover basically what it covers now. And a lot of people on Medicare have to buy supplementary plans. So no vision, no dental, nothing that um, Bernie Sanders promises in his expanded Medicare for all plan, right? And so what would happen here is you would end up with all the uninsured, poor, and sick people on the government option if they're not covered by their employer. And then you have all the healthy people in private insurance. You know what happens when you have something like that? You have a death spiral. It would be a death spiral in the private insurance market. Now, if it's public, it's going to be a gigantic uh, drain on the system. And you know what that means? That means that politicians, especially Republicans, will continue to try to cut what is covered by that uh, public option. And eventually even do away with it. And look, the reason that this would not control prices and, 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 and the other argument is, well, this will, well, th this could, um, you put in measures to help control prices, right? Well, this doesn't have the leverage. A public option does not have the leverage uh, over pharmaceutical, uh, you know, companies and, and, and hospitals, providers to be able to negotiate better than health insurance companies. They would not have the leverage right uh and and the reason you know and that's one of the reasons by the way costs are so high now is because you have no negotiating power again there are people that paid twelve hundred dollars for a band-aid or uh, you know thousand dollars for a bag of saline okay uh prices are absolutely 
out of control. And so this would be a two-tiered healthcare system. Not to mention, again, uh, it would be under constant Republican assault. At some point, because of all that, a public option would absolutely fail. Maybe under, most likely under a Republican president because of Republican sabotage and just the general inability for a public option to solve the problems in our system. So, no, Mayor Pete, you have it completely wrong. You have to have a single-payer health care system. You've got to get rid of private insurance. It's the only way to actually have real universal health care and actually be able to control costs. It's got to be everyone in and no one out. So this plan by Buttigieg shows you exactly where he's at. Centrist, middle of the road. Eh, let's take the existing system and tweak it just a little bit and, and, and open up Medicare for, you know, uh, people who are uninsured. It's, half measures are not going to work, man. No, we have to go full in on single payer or not do anything at all. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.